Hi, this is Joby Randrup from Rat Trap Productions. I'm going to show you how to mount a flat screen TV onto the brick of a fireplace. Mm -hmm. This particular mount is not adjustable. We didn't want one that swung out that was adjustable. So this is called a fixed mount. And these are two brackets that bolt onto the back of the television. This mount goes on the wall and then you'll see that it simply hangs. Now, as a precaution, this mount also has a bar. After you hang it, you fix this bar here, and then you can't take the TV off. Now, you'll see that there's these slots. This is where they want you to mount it. If you're mounting to a wall, they want you to mount into studs. If, they, if you're mounting into masonry, um, then they give you different legs. And I will show you what those All look right, like. All right, here are the legs they give you. So this goes into the wall, and then this screws in to this. Um, you need a half inch, a half inch bit to get into the brick. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it up on the brick and we're going to mount it where we want it. So I'm just, I just have this level on, on the bracket and here's my level bubble right here. Now I have to make sure that it's even here and even here. What I'm going off of are the bricks. Uh, you don't actually have to get a measurement, but you want to make it look like it's even on the bricks because sometimes these masonry, they're not put together completely square. So here I've got one and a half bricks. Here I've got one. Oh, that's two bricks. Can I find one that, oh, here, one and a half bricks. So this is smaller than that. So it looks like it's going to be about two, two bricks in length. Okay, here's a half, here's a half, and here's, here's a hole. So here's a half, here's a half, here's a hole. Looks like I gotta move it over a little bit like that, and that's level. Now I'm just gonna take a pencil and I'm gonna mark these holes and then I'm gonna drill them. If you're drilling into brick, you wanna get what's called a masonry bit. It's got a little, a little chisel here at the end of it and that will chisel out the, the stone or whatever. Uh, the question is, do you go into the mortar or do you go into the brick? Some people say it's okay to go into the mortar. Some people say you should only go into the brick. I have chosen to go into the brick because the brick is more solid. The reason you don't want to go into the brick maybe is because if you take those holes away, it's easier to patch the mortar than it is the brick. However, nothing's more solid on this whole wall than this brick. So that's what I'm going to drill into. Good. On this, these legs are 916 strive. So I'm just gonna tighten them up one at a time. Okay, before you tighten it up, this is where you get your final measurement. I'm at uh, uh, 15 3 8. 15 and 3 8. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this down, make sure it doesn't walk because this might walk this way because I'm tightening it this way. So I'm going to hold it to make sure it stays. And I'm just going to... That's set. And I can hang on that. That's going nowhere. You put this bolt through a, through this washer. It's a universal washer. It goes on one of these holes and it'll mount on here. Here are the two places where you put it. What I like to do is I'm gonna actually go a little bit farther. I'm gonna put a lock washer here. Another trick is you could probably put some Loctite on that. Loctite is a, it's a liquid that you put in there and it keeps it from backing out. But so this lock washer will make sure that it does not come back again. We pre-measured. We want it to be on the second hole. So I'm going to have it right like this. I'm going to put it on and get it started. Right here. 